Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm gonna showcase how we can create curved text inside JavaFX. So, curved text sadly isn't one of the main features of JavaFX, so when we want to create something curved like this, we have to actually do quite a few things to make it work. And what we're technically doing to get a better understanding before we look at the code, we just open it inside Scene Builder, because technically we're just building everything just with go we're not using the scene builder at all to actually create the curved text but what we are technically doing is that we are using an arc so this shape and we are then setting an angle symbol here and let's say we are animating some text to some position on this arc for example here i would put the s in software i then create a new arc move it a bit like that so before we had the S here, then the O here, then we create a new arc, move it around a bit, and then the next letter. And this way we are moving the angle of this arc shape and then animating the letters to be at a given position on the arc shape and then creating a new shape for each letter. I hope that made some kind of sense because it definitely to me was a bit confusing this concept at first. So I found a few people online that was doing something kind of like this, and then I kind of changed it to work with Java FX when we're using a scene builder. So first, I have my text, my string of text in this case, which is software. I then have my anchor pane, which I have given an ID, for me to be able to put my text into my anchor pane. I then have quite a few large methods, which probably should be cleaned up a bit, but just to showcase the functionality and if I actually want to use this in some kind of software in this product I would probably take all of this put it into some classes so I only needed like this part in my main application where I create a point and then draw some curve text but I have my draw text function I have my create path transition function and create curve where my create curve could technically create this arc shape with them given positions and with a like changed angle. Yeah, and we then also create the transition. So using our shape, the curve and the text, which would be for example the first letter, then set the transition to be at the position of the shape. And when we're taking just doing a path transition, that I would normally showcase just start at some point on the shape and then move all along the edge of the shape. And we're using this feature where it is starting at the edge of the shape, we're then starting and stopping the animation very quickly. So it is technically put at this position of the shape. And we're then just doing it for each of them. So we're just doing it path transition, that's like one millisecond. And no auto reverse, only doing it once. And a bit about some orientations. And we then, whenever we get to going through all the transitions, we just stop the last one, start a new one, start, stop, start, stop, and so on. So let's actually just take it from the beginning. So as mentioned, we have our text, we have our anchor pane, we then inside initialize create a 2D point, which is kind of like the middle of our shape. So it's not the position of our curved text, but it's the position of the shape. The text is going to be curved around. So it's also a bit confusing to get it in the, in the proper spot, but you can play around with it and it can end up looking quite nice. Like I did with this kind of curved software title. Then added just some parameters to my draw text function, text on input, initial rotation, so it's kind of like how much are we rotating, kind of even swallow a wide curve, and the center of our shape, which kind of translates into the center of our text. Inside our draw text, we then also have a curve angle, also kind of how much we're curving, we then change our text into a word array. And then define a radius of our shape. So there's a lot of actually numbers that can be changed to make it look different, which is also why this is probably a complex solution to something as simple as just curving text. But there's a lot of things when we're actually working with curves. And then we have a check if it's above or below the orientation, then we need to swap it around. I don't think if you can see, but if we are here at the top, it's going to be like this, or if it's on the bottom side, it's going to be upside down. So let me just swap it around. So the initial rotation, so where we're starting at our shape, 
think if we go to minus 180, maybe, should be at the bottom. As you can see, now it's been kind of like swapped around. It's no longer upside. You'll see when we get a bit further down what we're actually doing while we're using this. But check if the initial rotation is above or below 180. That's a boolean. We simply just check when you create a shape. Then it changes a bit how it's being created. We then have an observable list containing all our text elements. So it's at the end going to be this observable list we're going to add to our anchor pane. Containing all the letters with the new positions. We then have all the transitions for all our text parts. We then just simply go through a for loop using all the word the length, so all the charts we have in our word array. And then for each of them, we find calculate an angle, and then create a arc shape using all the inputs we have, as well as the rather than it's above center. We then have our text just transformed into text part where before it was like a char. Then set some styling, make it a bit bigger, and then add our text component to our parts array. And then we add our transition, or we create a transition and add it to our transition observable list. Transition to that, create path transition using our shape, newly created shape, and newly created text part. And we're then doing this for all of the letters in our input text. We then, again, go through as many elements as we have. And then for each part, we get the part, we first set it invisible. We then create this transition. And we then stop the transition and play the transition. So we make sure there's no other transition playing. And we then play the transition. And we then at the end just have our, our parts, so add it to our anchor pane so we can actually see what we're doing, see anything. And a path transition, as mentioned, just very simple. Path transition, no auto reverse, one cycle, and a setup. I'll create curve, we just create an arc shape, and then we set a lot of elements based on our input. So our sensor x and y, which is based on our point 2D element object. We set then, depending if we are reverting, so if you are at the top part of our circle, sphere, kind of, or the bottom part, change how the angle is calculated a bit, how the start angle and the length is set. And we then set the radius based on some information of the radius. And then we return the shape. So, this is probably too complicated for a simple feature, but is it is the best way, or the simplest way I could find, to aid curved text. And it works somewhat properly. There's a few problems if we add too much text. It gets confused because then we're technically going around and it start like adding it on top of each other. But for just a simple title, this would be a, a doable solution. So I hope you enjoyed my quick showcase of how we can do curved text inside JavaFX. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.